Um, so yeah, just, just to kick off, I mean, it's a, a very interesting uh, area of work that you're, you're involved in. I mean, do you, do you think that uh, this is going to be you know, a big part of our diets in future? Um, well, often I'm asked whether it will be a, a substitute for meat. Um, I, of course, it can. It, it is an alternative for meat, but there are many strategies, of course, to lower uh, meat consumption. Uh, you can eat less meat, uh, and there are other possibilities like uh, algae, rapeseed, uh, duck meat. Um, so all these alternatives are looked into, but I believe that uh, insects in fact, um, are already or can be and are already on the market. So whereabouts in the world, I mean, I, I know that some cultures already eat insects, but uh, which countries would you say are already more advanced in this area than other parts of the world? Well, in, in the tropical uh, countries, of course, insects are, are eaten all over. Um, but some countries um, have resorted to, um, to rear the insects. And especially in Thailand, there are about 20,000 different cricket farms and they produce uh, for their own consumption and for the market. Uh, so that's already uh, quite something. Uh, of course, there are other insects like the Mopana caterpillar in Southern Africa, which is traded uh, for about $8 million. Uh, but the supply is unreliable because it's, it's uh, harvested from nature. So if we really want to promote this, we really have to uh, start rearing them. Uh, can I ask a, a, a personal question? I mean, have you eaten insects yourself? Or what do they taste like? Well, I'm often asked how insects uh, do taste. Uh, and often um, they say, well, it is a nutty taste. Uh, I honestly don't know. Um, I've eaten them in so many ways. And there are 2,000 different in insects that can be eaten. So um, it's difficult to generalize. Uh, but often people say a nutty taste. Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I eat them quite regularly, um, also because they are quite easily available in the Netherlands. Uh, so there are there is one supermarket chain uh, with 500 outlets, and uh, they have uh, insects um, on the shelves uh, as nuggets, as schnitzels, and as burgers. I mean, thinking about um, insects as a, as a source of protein, particularly, uh, are they higher in protein content than? Uh, you know, beef, for example, or chicken? No, uh, I think it's similar. Uh, again, it's difficult to generalize with the 2,000 species that we have, but in general, I think the protein content is more or less similar. Uh, in fatty acids, I think the insects have some more good fatty acids, so the, the unsaturated ones. And I think for tropical countries, it's quite important that they have more iron and more zinc. Uh, considering that 2 billion people uh, are zinc deficient and 1 billion more or less uh, have anemia. Uh, so that can be quite an important contribution uh, to, uh, to food security. Looking at, um, I mean, we, we are you know, coming up to our conference uh, in July uh, on the future of animal products in the human diet. Um, I mean, in some parts of the world there is a real demand for meat proteins of some description. Uh, whereas in other parts of the world it appears to be leveling off or at least declining. Uh, do you think that there are, uh, uh, there are sort of resistance in terms of just a, a mental resistance to people uh, to eating any sort of meat, you know, any sort of animals, whether it's insects or, or larger animals at all? Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, but, well, if you look now up till 2015, then uh, let's say the demand for meat will increase by 76%. And in some countries like South Asia, uh, it, it is more than 200%. So especially in developing countries, the, uh, the demand for meat uh, will substantially increase. And as 70% of our uh, agricultural land is already occupied by livestock, uh, we need absolutely alternatives. There's no doubt about it. Uh, thinking about um growing insects and, and how they are farmed, is it easy to farm insects? Um, well, it depends if the insects are reared for human consumption or for animal feed. Because at the moment there are uh, quite some companies that concentrate on insects as animal uh, feed or for agriculture. 
And I think they have sorted out more or less how to do it. They have already uh, quite uh, automated systems, uh, optimized systems in which they can produce cheaper than, than fish meal. I would say for human consumption, as far as I know, up till now it's still more expensive than producing meat. But I think we are at the beginning, so uh, at the beginning of a development. Uh, and I think if those companies uh, get more demand, uh, they can also, uh, let's say, automate their systems and making it much cheaper. There's some concern in some, uh, you know, in some sort of scientific circles about um, insects having a built-in uh, genetic resistance to pesticides or some other diseases because they've had a very long history of. Uh, having to deal with uh, pesticide use, I mean, is, that going to, is that a problem, do you think? Is that, is that a, a valid concern? No, I think that is uh, beneficial even, <laughs> because they, uh, they are able uh, often to de detoxify uh, things. Um, but of course, food safety issues has, has to be on the top of the agenda, that, that, and that hinders a little bit the legislation also. But as far as we know, uh, the history of eating insects does not show that there are really uh, concerns for food safety, but they have to be produced uh, uh, hygienically uh, because often when it occurs, it's contamination. Uh, so if you rear them hygienically, I think there are no uh, problems whatsoever. Looking at uh, all the various different types of insects there are, um, I mean, you mentioned crickets earlier on, which are the most popular in terms of uh, the ones that are used most frequently now uh, for human consumption? Well, for human consumption, if you take the Western world, uh, we, we have taken more or less the insects that are produced already. And those are the mealworms, the crickets, and the, and the locusts. Um, but crickets uh, are quite popular, I must say. Also, uh, there are several projects uh, that work in Africa, and they concentrate also on crickets. And that can be the, the common house cricket, but also other types of uh, crickets can be used. Um, but the mealworms are also uh, quite popular. Um, if you take the, the insects which are sold in the Netherlands, it are mealworms, crickets, um, uh, and, and locusts. No, the, the, the point um, that is currently most in the picture, that's the legislation. Um, because, um, well, in the European Union, for example, um, they may consider it as novel food. And if it is considered novel food, which means that before 1997 it has to be eaten in the, in, in the European Union to a substantial uh, extent, and well, we, we can't prove that really. So if they uh, call it novel food, then you need to provide uh, well, files of, uh, let's say, the food safety. And that may hinder its development. If you take insects uh, for uh, agriculture, and, and for pigs and poultry, then uh, for fish it's allowed um, uh, since uh, 2013. And for pigs and poultry, I think they will make a decision somewhere in December by the European Food Safety Authority. Um, but um, I think it's so exponentially growing, this sector, that I think the politicians have to follow. And when they made the legislation, Nobody thought about insects as food or feed, and that's the problem. And I give you just one example. If you, um, you you're not allowed to slaughter a pig on your farm, it has to be on a certified uh, slaughterhouse with a welfare officer present. But insects are also animals, so you would need a certified slaughterhouse for insects. And everybody realizes this complete nonsense. So uh, the the legislation is lagging behind, but they will catch up eventually. So in terms of looking at um, insects being used for animal feed, do you think it'll be easier for the legislators to agree to that first, and then that's the first step on the road to them agreeing to insects as being uh, you know, uh, av uh, agreeable for human feed? Yeah, it, it's already easier uh, to use insects as, uh, as human food than insects as uh, feed, and that's because of the legislation that they make because uh, you are not allowed to feed animals to animals, you know, the, the BSAE problems. Um, so, um, again, an example. If we have a free roaming chicken, if you put him outside, the first thing he does, he 
picks up an uncertified insect. You give him certified ones, you are not allowed to do it. So it just shows how crazy it is. But I, I think uh, the legislators are aware of this problem and uh, because of well, the, the huge interest and the companies that are the companies are now united in Europe uh, as the international producer of insects as, as food and feed and they are really uh, trying to convince the legislators to change the legislation in their favor.